Have you heard about Tom AI? Guys, Tom AI is changing the game right now when it comes to creating presentations. And whether it's for a school project, or in the business world trying to get your ideas across, or simply offering a gig on Fiverr or Upwork or whichever other platform trying to make money online, this AI tool will help you to create some amazing and impressive presentations in seconds. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you a full tutorial on how to use Tom AI. So before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to the channel to show some support. Then let's jump to my computer screen so that I can show you step by step how to use Tom AI. Let's go. So guys, here's the website, right? Tom.app. Right, and once you on the website, yeah, you can go ahead and go through it and see what the website is about. Speak your mind, whatever you want to say. Tom will help you to figure out how to say it. Yeah, basically, it will help you to create some really amazing presentations. Yeah, and as you go through the website, you can see where it's telling you about the features, etc., and giving you a little preview of how you can utilize these features within the app. So it's a very appealing website, very user friendly and very responsive really like the first impression of the website here right now it's also at the top here it's telling you about the features of tom ai is basically it's also showing you some of the nice templates that they have within their system there's a community and also you can see the pricing now there's a free plan which we will try and there's a pro plan which is basically eight dollars per month right and you see what it offers here, right? That's very, very nice. Of course, they also offer enterprise, but you need to, you know, definitely contact them to get the pricing for that, right? I guess that is fully customized. That will be something customized to your needs. Now, what we're going to do, guys, we are going to try Tom for free. So let me go ahead and hit try Tom here. And I will sign it with my Gmail. Sign it with my Gmail here. And here it is. It start by asking me to create my profile. Um, what's my role? I will just choose a creative. Let's click next here. And it's asking me to you know, name my workspace. So I will name my workspace Drew Tutorial, right? And yeah, continue. And I will start with the the basic plan here right so let's continue get 500 ai credits just not bad and this is the first impression of the website so once you're logging for the first time it will start off on the recent and you can see all those different templates right and then you have on the left hand side you have notifications i guess then when you're working on something then if there's something that you need to do you will basically be notified Whatever it is, you will be notified here. On the personal, what happened is that you will see your recent edits, right? So if you've recent, if you've recently worked on some project, you will see recent edits there on the personal. Share as well with me. If someone share with you uh, work or one of those presentations, you'll be able to see what you've been shared, right? Then you have the the, the, the Drew tutorial, which is basically my dashboard or my workspace, which I've been which I created earlier. And that will also show recent edits. Then you have the templates as well, which is all the pre-made template that they have. You can find them here. And if you, if you delete some project or some presentation, you can find it there. Invite team, team members or teammates, right? You can do that um, once you're in the pro plan. You can always invite people to it. You And here you can see the plans and definitely you can see like my workspace. So you can invite people to workspace, etc. No, what we'll do, I will just simply let me right click on this. I should I should be able to right click no. So I wanted to right click on one of those templates so that you can see how it look. But what I will do, I will go ahead and I will just click on it to show you what it looks like. And if you click on use template, you're gonna basically see how the template looks and you can you know go ahead and you can modify every single thing within the template, right? I will go back because I will be using the AI to generate something for me, right? So I'm gonna use the AI to generate a presentation for me. So I will not use their, let's say, pre-made template. I will create something. 
Now upgrade basically, you know, will lead you to the plants and to create, you will basically get this pop up here that it will ask you to say what you want to create. So I've asked it here, this is my prompt, presentation about AI taking over the world, right? And I will just basically hit enter. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna generate some ideas. It's gonna generate me an idea of how AI is taking over the world. This is my main title of my presentation that it will create. And these are the different, let's say, topic or subtopics or subtitles that it will go into. Now, I can click the regenerate button here. And this will, if I don't like these topics, it will regenerate new ideas for me. So I will go ahead and show you how that works. And you will see that it will regenerate a new idea, new topics for me here. And that's how easy it is to regenerate. Now here, you can see that it has a minus and a plus sign and you have like these six dots here. What these six dots does, it basically will allows you to move the different topics up and down that you want. So you can move whatever you want here. And the plus is basically going to allow you to like remove a particular section, a particular topic that you don't want. Now I'm going to just add something. The plus is going to allow you to add a new topic. So let's say I want to add uh, how to make, let's put it a bit more nice, how to make money with AI. And what this is going to do is add a new topic to whatever the AI already creates. So this will allow you to, if you have an idea that you want to bring across to create a new presentation, you want to add some more topics that you want to add, you can go ahead and do just like that. Then you hit continue. This is going to generate the, the presentation for me within seconds. And then it will populate the pages, as you can see on the left hand side here. And then after those pages are populated, then it's gonna populate or let's say add images to the presentation. Here you can see the pictures are being generated. Now you can see all my images are already generated. Now I'm gonna just head back to the top here and I will just simply go through each page with my down arrow to see what it looks like. Some really interesting imagery, right? I must say, not bad. How to make money with AI look, it really is, it's really good, I must say. Those images are really, really interesting. Now, I'm going to show you how you can use this. Now, let's say this is my topic, right? How you can utilize the AI to make changes to it is if you highlight anywhere, any text within the presentation that is generated, it's gonna give you an option here, or let's say more features how you can make changes. So you can make changes to, you can add bulletin, you can do bold, you can do italic, under, underline, etc. You can do strike through, you can add hyperlink. So if you want to link back to another website, you can do so, you can add reference. And here you have AI edit. So if I click AI edit, this would allow me to rewrite the topic, adjust the tone of it. It will help me to you know, make fixes to grammar spelling. It can reduce and extend. I'm gonna show you how it, what it means by reduce. This will rewrite it and make the title shorter. So let's try it. And here you see it has basically shortened my title. I can keep it or I can try again, right? So I can say try again and it will give me a brand new title by trying again. I will show you now how you can extend. So let's click extend and you see that it will make my title much larger, right? And I will say keep or I will say try again. It will do the same thing. You get the full idea here. So that's how you can use the AI to manipulate with a particular text within it. Now let me go ahead and go to different areas within the presentation, right? So you have the introduction, you can go ahead and you can do the same thing. So if you have like a paragraph, a particular part in the paragraph, let's say I don't like this part of it, I can click on it and I can rewrite this. So I can rewrite it and it will be different. And I can also, let me go ahead and keep this, and I will use the AI to change, for example, the tone and make it more exciting. And you see that the AI definitely write it in a nicer way, right? Now, as it relates to, you can always, now I will show you as well that you can play around with the color of the text. So if you want to change this text, let's say you want to change the word artificial intelligence, right? 
and AI. You can over over it and you can play around with the color and it will change it for you then, right? No, and I can also make it bold as well. All right, guys, so now for the images, guys, what you can do here, you can easily, once you select the image, you can easily hit the image settings here, and this will give you more options over the images. So here you can you see create, you see upload, you see search, and if you click create, for example, this will allow you to use the power of AI to create a new image, let's say. So if I, that's say AI person, so if I do AI robot, and hit generate, you will see that it will give me some options for AI robot, let's say. And here you can see that it gave me some more options for AI robot, right? So I can easily click on one of these images that it has done and I, it will it autom once I click it, it will automatically change. Now, if I also click upload, this will allow me to do upload from my pictures from my computer. Or if I do search and type, for example, AI person right person then you will see that it finds a lot more images online about ai person i can choose whatever i want right it is totally up to me once i select it then it will automatically change the image right now uh, i can do a lot more customization so you can see where i can do fit i can do fill i can do custom and, the, and i can easily adjust whatever i want and so forth and i can play around with the background there right now if i hit the plus button you will see that i can do also a lot more this allows me to modify the text the image i can do videos as well gif figma table and so much more even web links you see that i can add hyperlinks to it as well and the next icon here is for recording this allows me to record from my camera and also it allows me to record from my microphone so i can do like a voiceover if i so wish to do that then the last icon here is for like colors so which i can modify various colors i can modify the theme i can change the theme and i can choose whichever i want so let's say i choose for example i choose this cream one here, right or i choose let's say neptune let's choose neptune and I want to make some small adjustment to it. So let's say for the heading, I want to use, let's choose a different kind of text. So let's say I chose this and I want all the text to be like that. And I also want the color to be like yellow or something like that. I can choose whatever I want. Then once I'm finished, I can easily hit save. And what this is gonna do is gonna give me an option to save my team so you can easily customize your own team and whenever you're creating a new pop and whenever you're creating a new presentation you can use those team as well so let's call this test two because i've created one before so this will allow me to choose between my various uh teams let's say and my customization and that's very very useful and handy there now i'm going to go through these options here at the top now the head is basically showing me like who is viewing it now here you can see the different options of who is viewing the file right and this second option here which is comment so let's say you want to you're working on a presentation you would like to comment certain areas if you're working in a team so the other person can know what to do what to change etc you can use comments to do that by coming leaving a comment in various areas of the presentation this can be done on all and this can be done as per page now the share option allows you to share here you can type the email address of who you want to share to and select how you want to share you can share for them to just to play it to comment it to edit it or you can give them full access right and this is basically to access to the workspace let's say that i have created and here is the link that you can copy and you can share now these three dots tell you how you can, let's say, download, rename, add your logos here. Now to export the file or to export the presentation, you need to do this as a PDF. This is what you get. And to add your logo, you also need the pro version as well to be able to do this. And in a nutshell, guys, that's basically it, how it actually works. That's how it actually works within Tom AI. 
and it's a very i think it's a very useful very at the end user friendly ai tool to create presentations very straightforward and this should allow you to create some really beautiful presentations for your project or as a service i really like it guys and i hope that you really find it useful as well and you can create some really amazing presentation using this ai tool and there you have it guys that's tone ai isn't it amazing now if you found some value within this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel feel free to subscribe to the channel to see much more videos coming out every week like this one see you next time